to the Kent Lab Podcast. Marijuana, cannabis. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking about that. And you emailed me earlier. Yes. One quick thought, because you, you brought up tobacco too. Yeah. So I read this morning on uh, the Science Times. Uh, I read the New York Times each morning. The Science Times this morning, uh, page, I think it was D7 under the health and wellness section of the Science Times portion of the paper. There's an article on marijuana mm-hmm. and how it is five times it causes oxygen to be deprived to your bloodstream five times worse than tobacco. So just a thought. I know we're talking about oxygen with COVID getting into our bloodstream, hmm. trying to keep that. There's a new study that says that cannabis marijuana um, restricts oxygen five times the rate of oxygen getting to your bloodstream. Can you pull that up, Andrew? Google it. Five times worse. That's interesting. So, for the listeners that are wondering, you know, where did (laughs) where did marijuana come out of? The the you know, as it becomes increasingly legal in states across the country, I feel like churches are going to have to start dealing with this, right? In a way that maybe ten years ago, twenty years ago, didn't have to so much. I mean, I think there's kind of one aspect from should we enjoy cannabis, should we not? Where it's like, well, is it legal? You know what I mean? Now, the legal thing also that that um, that argument gets a little funky too because let's uh because it's still illegal federally so even like colorado like Mm -hmm. if you were if axis church was in colorado it's legal in that state but it's still illegal federally so now what do you like now does it fall to the to the people to use it if it's helpful or not um because it's legal there but it's still illegal federally so the legal thing it gets a little it's comp it's 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 still a little bit complicated. And then, in, like in Nashville, I don't know if you knew this, but in this summer, the prosecutor in Nashville said they're not going to prosecute anyone for low levels of marijuana possession. Mm. So it's illegal federally. It's illegal in the state. Um, but the in Davidson County, you can't get in trouble for it. So is it legal or isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's sort of it's this complicated thing. Um, I'm just sort of curious as like, this becomes more mainstream. Here's what I think, and you can disagree with me or plenty of people can disagree with me. I sort of feel like it's the next alcohol, Hmm. you know, whereas 20 years ago, a lot of people were like teetotalers and didn't get into it and everyone poo-pooed it. And if we'd had, you know, you you throw a couple of random, you throw a pastor and a random business guy on a podcast 30 years ago, probably most of the time it's like, yeah, to stay away from it, from alcohol. And I think plenty of people still feel that way with marijuana, which they have a right to their own opinion. I'm totally open to that. I just sort of feel like, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of people talk about it, to be quite frank. And I feel like it's already way more common and popular and maybe even helpful, although some would disagree with me on that front, than maybe some people already realize. And I feel like it's kind of going to run through the church, maybe potentially, I could be wrong, like alcohol did, Mm -hmm. where it's like, First, no, that's crazy. Don't do that. And then, eh, maybe sometimes if as science comes out and whatnot. And then, and then, and then I think where alcohol is kind of wound up, it's like, well, or at least you know how we would think about alcohol is plenty of people don't drink, and that's totally fine. I have no problem with that. And then there's, oh, maybe it's okay to have a drink, you know. So I'm just kind of curious how pastors are starting to think about marijuana as it kind of becomes legal in different states. So, um. But you're saying, though, that you read a study. Did you find it, Andrew? Or no? Possibly. 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 Okay. You, you read a study that said that um, marijuana, the smoking mm-hmm. weed, is five times... It limits, it prohibits the ox- amount of oxygen to the bloodstream. Okay. Five times... More than tobacco. amount of tobacco. Absolutely, yeah. That's what the article said. That's interesting. Yeah, well, it was what's, in today's New York Times. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. Yeah. I, I have not... Uh, here we go. Wait, is it? No. Which is hard on the heart. Well, if you, if you have... Can you text us that article later, maybe? Yeah, yeah. And um, you can maybe look up uh, New York Times, wellness, marijuana, tobacco, and see what pops up there. What's funny about you mentioning that is just this past weekend... Um, there was a guy, it's not the guy I was, t- I was talking about hiking with, but someone else who was saying that he, he well, he said that t- smoking tobacco is, what did he say? He said it's twice as bad. I'm sorry. He said smoking marijuana is twice as bad if he was tobacco. And I was just like, dude, stop it. It's not true. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you if you don't want to smoke pot because of a whole ton of reasons, that's fine. But don't say it's twice as bad if you're smoking tobacco. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just not. I don't. I mean, he seemed pretty solid on his in- information, but uh, all right. Yeah, what is this? Compared with tobacco, marijuana smoking causes a fivefold greater impairment of the blood's oxygen carrying capacity. Dr. K and colleagues reported in a review of medical evidence published in January in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, researchers described a broad range of risks to the heart and blood vessels associated with the mu- use of marijuana. Interesting. Yeah. Point out that marijuana is becoming increasingly potent and smoking marijuana carries many of the same cardiovascular health hazards as smoking tobacco. And that's what it was talking about. The articles about like the cardiovascular aspects of yeah. like an athlete. If like if you're trying to get in shape, you're trying to run, mm-hmm. um, smoking cigarettes is probably not the best way to right. help that. Yeah. You know, um, because it, it does limit, one, it does many things. Yeah. You know, your picture of the lungs shows yeah. what it does. But uh, it deprives the blood of oxygen, and they're saying that marijuana does five times that. Um, That's really interesting. I'd love to, I'd love to read that because there's a number of athletes that you know have openly used marijuana. A number of athletes, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know if this is something I should say out loud, but I mean, I'll just I guess I'll just say it. But like the best athletes at my gym, they use pot. Sure, yeah, and they smoke it. And I mean, yeah. these are guys that these are high, these are finely tuned. Like the, yeah. they would never smoke cigarettes. Let me just put it that way. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't touch until cigarettes. Now maybe until they find out this research. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're just uneducated. You yeah. know? But uh, yeah, that's fascinating. This is one of those one of those places. I guess again, bookending our time. Maybe going back to self control. Um, is I think it's it's an issue that you have to address with, not necessarily a right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, so. You know, I think you're right. It's going, we're going to come to a place where many are going to view it as right, and even legally, it's going to be acceptable. Um, and so, right or wrong is going to be hard to stand on, kind of like where we got with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, that right or wrong is a knowledge issue, but a wisdom says, but is it best? Um, and so, that's where it's going to. You know, you're going to have to ask yourself, is it is it best? Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm trying to get in shape, is something like cigarettes or smoking pot, is that best? Mm-hmm. Well, then, is there other ways of getting it? You know, so, so like, why? Like, what's the purpose? Yeah. You know, and you've got the guys who are like, well, God made it. It's got to be good. It's like, well, he also made poison ivy, but you don't necessarily want to sleep in it. Yeah. Um, So just because it's there doesn't mean it's for our consumption. Yes. Um, But I know there's many that say it's helped them, you know, to take the medicinal Mm -hmm. route. Others, um, it's harmed them and uh, made things much more difficult for them. Of course, there's an argument of the gateway. That you yep. start here and you go elsewhere, um, and I heard that even with alcohol um, in that way. But you know, I, th- I think at the end of the day, for Christians, um, the question has got to be: Does this hinder my holiness? Mm-hmm. Um, if it's all legalized, then it's it's no longer um, a legal issue. It becomes somewhat of a moral issue in how you interpret Scripture in regards to this. And and so I think you get to the point because it doesn't talk about weed um, in the Bible, but you just have to say, you know what? Does this aid me in my holiness? Does this assist my holiness, or does it hinder my holiness? Does mm-hmm. this, um, you know? And I, if it's legalized, and if there's there's nothing legally wrong with it, if it doesn't harm you physically, okay? If we know that it doesn't harm you physically, uh, so perhaps the word moderation is there, the term because. Alcohol harms you physically if you don't use moderation. Mm-hmm. Um, so if we're thinking of it in that same line, it's just another substance. Um, then the question would be, does it aid or hinder my holiness? Um, and that's going to be different for different contexts. Yeah. You know, um, just like it is with alcohol. Yes. You know, it might, might not be best for you to order that drink when you're in a given situation because of the weaker brother. Perhaps, exactly. Or the context. Um, so let it be a sanctifying thing for you not to order. Yep. You know, yep. that's okay. Yep. You're a big boy. You can, you know, you can drink later if you want to hit up yeah. the gas station on the way home if you need to. Yeah. Uh, if, but again, it's like, if you're that desperate for it, that's not, then, then that's there's a that problem question too. too. Yeah. I totally know? agree with that. And so it's just, uh, it's a heart, it's a heart thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, kind of going back to where we started. Yep. I totally agree with that. And I think another helpful way to think about it is 
the best thing I, 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 I get that argument and I agree with it. And then also if we term it in terms of, is it helpful? I think that can be helpful too, because for, I don't know, I guess a lot of people probably marijuana is probably not helpful. And then there's some people where studies are showing where it is helpful. If you're dealing with particular, I guess, um, well, it's it seems to be better to use as a pain reliever than like getting hooked on opi- opioids, you know, or uh, there can be some benefits with anxiety or depression and those some of those some of those types of things, and so, um, but you know if if it's not helpful to you or it's going to be detrimental because you start to act a certain way or do certain things, you know, that um, it causes you to do that are not beneficial or holy or godly or you know, takes you on a good path, well, then it, I don't, then at that point, it doesn't really matter whether it's pot or alcohol or, you know, then that's just, let's not do that, right. you know? Um, so I've just been curious, that, and I did want to ask you about it just because as it becomes, uh, it, well, it's talked about more and it's becoming legal in more states. Um, I'd love to, to talk to a pastor where in a state where it's like was once illegal and it's now legal. Like, right, how are yeah. they working through that? How are they thinking about it? How prevalent is it in their congregation, you know? And um, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity to ask you about it because, you know, it's not legal in Tennessee, but you're also pastoring a church in downtown Nashville. Nashville's right. a booming city and, you know, it's um, it's here and people are oh, using it. there's a lot it, of weed know? in Nashville. Yeah, there sure is, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I was just curious how you thought through that. So yeah, that that is helpful. Yeah. Andrew, can you text that um, article to me? I'd love to. I'd love to read that. Uh well great well Jeremy thank you again for coming by anything else we cover I think it for so, now man I think we're I think we're good thanks uh, for having me man it's yeah really good catching up it has yeah. been good catching up thank you for your time and um and just so you know Axis Church pops up a fair bit at Emmanuel yeah we thank you guys a lot and um really so man. we're so happy that you're here in the city and and um I've heard the church is doing well hope you're doing well so yeah. keep it up brother thank keep you so preaching much, and and pastoring and spreading the love of Jesus. Deeply encouraging, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. That was fun.